Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. It's obviously a free for AFL TV in association with Matt and Jim Marbella. We're down in Greenback Sport, Sports Academy in Liverpool. I'm delighted to be joined by Phil Sutcliffe Jr. How are you doing, sir? Ah, not too bad, not too bad at all. Eh? So, eh, how, would I, how, how would we describe that for you? Yeah? Very messy, very messy. It got, got messy after the, the second round, you know, started throwing the head in a lot. And it just wasn't, I looked at the ref a few times to, to give him a warning and he, so it just got more messy every time we got into it. Mm. He pulled, I pulled, or just went down from there. It wasn't a good fight to start, <laughs> st st start off, but look, I was happy with what I'd done. And anyway, well, the small bit of boxing that I got in, like, but it's a very messy fight. Let's take you from the first round. You started off very aggressive. Were you looking to go out there and make a statement? No, no, you know what? Just, just putting, putting a bit of, put a bit, a bit of power in, in the one or two of the shots, you know, just to mm. let him know I was there early. And, and see, see where I took it from there, like, and then they, obviously when he felt a bit of power, he just started getting messy, and yeah. he knew he was in. He knew he was in for it. Either being hit hard, or a deck, or a stop, you know. So mm -hmm. I just had to had to bend and grill all the tactics of the head and his arms and the shoving in the face. But look, how much does that affect you during the fight? You, you, you must be aware that the opponent's using the head quite a lot, and you're worried. Obviously, you may get a cut or whatever else. Do you know, look, if a man on the top of my head, and that's 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 from being hit with the head. It wasn't from a shot, you know. Yeah. All the rest of the shots were the side at the back of the head. You can't be mm. one or two body shots, but other than that, like, it was very messy for him, you know. Does that affect your game plan during the fight when the opponent's feeling that? Do you know what, like? You have to know, he, he's a journey man. Like, I know he's a, a, a light middle, like, but I'm only a, a light well that but still, like. At the end of the day, I should have just out boxed it and, and, and took me time. It was just, just a messy night all, all in all, like with the day's way in and the whole lot. Like, but uh, look, it is what it is. <laughs> the referee went and obviously disqualified him. Were you surprised that the disqualification came because you know, he didn't even take a point off of it? Just... Do you know what? He, he took a point off me. He took a point off me in the third round. Did he have he, to he just, took, no, he he just a, gave a warning? No, he took a point off me in the third round. I was, like, I was looking, I was, I was delighted the referee started getting involved because. Mm. Either that or I start haunting him or throwing him around the ring, yeah. which is not a good idea at the time. Like, but mm -hmm. it's the only way to fight, fight with these people, you know. Well, especially on the inside and that pulling in the hole and sticking the head in your face. Yeah. But I was delighted the ref started noticing more. Like I was looking at the ref at one stage and I think I got a, a clatter in the back of the head. The ref done nothing, so I said, right, mm -hmm. it's game on, you know. Yeah, you start fighting fire by fire, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what we got lined up in the future? Do you know what? I just have to wait and see now. Uh, everything's good now, my hands are great, no injuries, no cuts, thank God, with, yeah. with, the, with the heads, so we will uh, we might try and this week and see, see, what, see what we have coming up. Yeah. You look back to the fight earlier this year against Anthony Yeager, was that a fight that you've learned a lot from? It was, it was a very close decision, was that a fight that you've learned a lot from? I took a lot from that fight, um, I took an awful lot from that fight, mm. to be honest. At that calibre, I should be stopping people, you know, like, but, uh, and for all fairs, he, he boxed a good fight, like, and the, the referee was involved, but there was a lot, a lot in his favour at, at the time as well, like, it was a short, short, short nose fight, like, but, um, it is what it is, and I, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm actually happy, it's actually, it's actually taught me a few things, not, not that I happy I lost me all, but no, yeah. But the, the, the great thing was you got back out only under two months later. It's not like you had a long time to sit and stew over that. You got back out less than two months later and then you've been back out again since then. Yeah, so. well I had a fight uh, two months later, yeah. That ended in the fourth round and just just nice clever boxing again. That's all I have to do, like if the shot's there, the shot's there, like it will be there because the power's there I'll, I'll shoot, shoot around like but when you're dropping, dropping big way, like you have to remember it's hard it's hard it's hard to it had to be be fit and yeah. stay focused in the ring, you know. Definitely. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah, thanks it for was me. a tough, tough grilling fight. Yeah, to yeah. Well, he made it tough <laughs> for himself. Really, wish you all the best. Thanks very much.